Hello everyone, it's me Foxboy. Um, I know it's been a while, but I'm here, and I'll slave with audio, but I'm here to make a tutorial on the puppet. Um, in the next two weeks you'll also get Nightmare on and a new menu tutorial, because the last one I made wasn't that good. Also, since everyone in the comments keeps asking for the textiles, I'll link them in the description, it's in this dump right here. Alright, let's get started. So we're going to clipping fusion of course. Go to a new frame. Go to application. Resize it to 1280 720. This is what most games use. So now we got it. Resize it maybe 50. So what we're going to need is force. We're going to need um, the puppet's jump scale. So go into the UCN. Go to characters, and go all the way here to puppet, and click here, click replace, click here, click insert after frame. And then what you want to do is you want to hold alt and select all these, go to the eye right here, and press the middle, and go here, and loop it. So you can see it's working perfectly. Now unloop it. And you can see it's kinda it's kinda small, or it's not that I, the ideal size. So what I want to do is just stretch it out. Bravo. So call this the marionette. So that's perfect jump scale. And we'll go so you go to the properties. Go to this one time options and press this create a start. That that's there so it doesn't um create itself a start. Then make a new layer and put it in there. Now we're gonna need this rule for the music box. So go here, replace the animation, then bam got your music box graphic. And I may say, oh proxy avails that you know, the middle, and the middle is a counter. So what you do is you go take a counter, go to settings, go all the way down here, and then press horizontal ball. At least I think it's horizontal, I'm, I'm kind of stupid. Um, so maximum, I'm gonna make it maybe five. Let's test that real quick. Yeah, he's like that. Okay. Good. Oh wait, no, it's from the left. Whatever. So I'll put it over here. Zoom in. Make it pretty big. That'll be perfect. This is for the tutorial purposes. You can make it look oh, so fancy when you use it in the game. So there it is. I make the maximum at least like 300. And the zero is the as low as we go. I make it green. Yeah, okay. And it's all you need. Except for, wait, you need writing, I forgot, so. Make a little text right here. A little text message. And I'll say. Press and hold to bind. Press this, the crop it. Let's put it underneath there. That's all we need. So now I'm going to go here. I'm going to create a new group of events called the music box. And every Let's say maybe every 10 uh, milliseconds, contract 1. So let's see how fast that is. That's reasonably fast. Then now for every 10 milliseconds, for the mouse, wait, so 
Up here, our mouse key is clicked. And then put mouse, double an object, music box, then add one. Locking a portrait has to be attended at the feet. And that's okay. So this up here. Let me go over that every 10 seconds. There we go. So now it said wind back up. I put what is equal to zero. Well, I could make the go here. So go to the clock. And if I fire a new event, at or zero seconds, and call it puppet scale. Or whatever you want to call it. And go here on event. And go to puppet scale. And what I want to do is go, um, yeah, sorry, sorry, um, go here to the create new object, create new object, marionette, oh, let's well, put to that frame, Get marionette, right here, layer 2, and then play sound, so go to, um, UCN, Sorry, <laughs> and then go to the sound bank, and this was a FNAF 2 scream. <laughs> Very loud on now. Oh wait, I don't have my... Oh, I do have it on. Sorry about that. <laughs> and then also, every 10 seconds, when that's happening, play Wind. I think it's a 40, uh, I'll say 45 milliseconds. Hmm. I'll say 35, 40, not 35. Of course, you could change the speed if you want. Yeah, it's probably fine. Let's play the wind up sound. So, this is for sound effects. And also, um, I think that's it. So now, we just go here, wait for it to wind down, so I know it's pretty slow, but that's, you know, for the player to be able to do it. Kind of fast, you can see. And jump scale. Okay. Change to go here and put once loops. And for testing it, we're gonna put keyboard plus G set to zero. So that's just the testing it. Okay. And then put when animation has ended next frame. Good. It works perfectly. Now just remove this. And you should be set to go. So don't forget to download the textuals in the description. And make sure you credit me. Um, so let me put it in here in case you guys just go to the download. Credit Foxy Boy Games for code. And that's how you do it. Thank you guys.